by now, you may have heard of these scary things called credit cards. Maybe you've heard the horror stories of people using them. Or maybe you think they're a free source of money. But beware. Just kidding. Finance Geek. Credit cards are simple. They're transaction tools. Just like money, if used correctly. Make sure you pay them off on time, then they can't hurt you. If you don't, then you pay for it. Think of it as power tools versus regular tools. Power tools are more convenient and easier to use. Kind of like a credit card. If you use them too much, you use a lot of electricity. Think of that kind of like interest. So make sure you turn them off. Tools aren't inherently scary. It's how you use them. I can use a power tool and it'll save me a ton of time. The best way to be careful is to understand how to use them. Oh, 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 oh. Little Jimmy, little Jimmy, put that thing down. You know that will give you debt. There are three main parts to a credit card. The first one is the amount owed on the card and that's called the balance. Think of this like the amount of time that you keep the power tool on. The longer that you run it, the more electricity it uses. Like interest. The second part is the interest, or also known as the APR. This is the amount of extra money you pay if there's a balance on the card. Think of this as the electricity. Finally, the payment, which is the minimum amount that you need to pay on the card. Think of this as the minimum amount of electricity that you need to run the power tool. If you turn the tool off at the right time, then you don't have to worry about it. Now there are a lot of credit cards out there. Which one is the right one to get? Why would I get one? But the ones that you want to look at are the ones with the lowest interest, the lowest fees, and the best points. Think of it like when you go shopping. You always want to make sure that you buy the best tool for the lowest price, right? Same with the credit card. Now why would you need one? There's two reasons for that. The first is that it builds credit, and the second is that you can earn points. Now the points depend on what cards you get. So make sure you choose the right points for you. So like any tool, there's a right and a wrong way to use a credit card. Stand still. If you have a budget set up, then what you want to do is use your credit card only within the budget limit. Then about five days before the payment date of the card, set up your checking account to automatically pay the budgeted amount to your card. What this does is it builds your points and it helps you keep your balance at zero. Think of that as keeping a timer on your electricity that's powering your tool to make sure it automatically shuts off. Now that's our show. Thanks for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to be off traveling with the points that I earned on my card. We'll see you next time. Put that thing down. You know that will get you that.